Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Why don't you guys sit back and enjoy this video? Let's go for a ride. Okay guys, we bought a set of brass knuckle air pull valves. And as you can see, tra tractors on the left, trailers on the right, and they're just kind of loose. Reason for that is, is when we went to buy it, they only had a trailer valve, or handle. And she was having a problem pulling the tra tractor valve out. So I put that one on the uh, uh, tractor valve. And then when we were able to buy the um, tractor one, we bought it, but I couldn't get this off yesterday. So I figured, what the hell, let's make a two for video. I'm gonna show you how to take these off and put them back on. And then also, we bought the steering wheel cover that I put on upside down because there's a seam right here and that's making me crazy. So let's go ahead and uh, correct this stuff. All right, what we're gonna need first is we're gonna need to come out here. And we need to get a pair of pliers. pair of pliers in here, do I? Yeah, I know. I need to fix all that stuff. Oh, let me do this. There we go. Yeah, I ain't gonna go put the lock on this trailer just yet. It's empty. She just got washed out. using this box yet but I got it mostly cleaned out I scrubbed it with uh, 409 and whatnot and a bunch of towels all right so basically when I put this one on can you see this I mean, you don't have to be up close on it, but I want to see Yeah, it. you can see it. I need to twist it back off. And I can't grip it, and if you turn just that, the set screw inside here comes loose. So, let's see if this one... <clears throat> so I need to grab it. And so first, let's try with our grippy glove. That worked. I didn't need pliers after all. I just thought about that. Hey, I got a grippy glove. Yeah, otherwise it's too slippery. And that one broke. Okay, so here's here's how these play out. All right, so this is what you normally have. And she is really having a hard time pulling these brakes out to set them. Okay, that's right side up, but I'd like it that that much tighter, so I'll do it again. Okay, so I've 
got it to where it starts tightening and then I just bring it over and there a little bit more and what that did is the little set screw in there went ahead and tightened itself up you leave them loose a little bit that way you can put it on on the shaft and then you can pull on the handle which should start making that little set screw tighten up and then you just pull on it as needed to where you want it to go. Okay, let's see if we can get this one to line up. What I'm doing is I'm pushing on it to relieve, relieve that screw pressure so it doesn't tighten, get it to where I think I want it, and then I pull on it a little bit, and now it locks that screw in, but you can see that's not the place you want it. So we'll do it again, pull, nope, not yet. In, pull, no, too much. So I get it where I want it, but I'm being too critical on. There we go, right there. Okay, now we got tractor and trailer. See how nice and easy they work? Uh, we're out of air, so it's not going to stay in. But, uh, yeah, so now she can literally grab right in there, or I, I'll grab the whole thing. And you can still, you can still, like when you did before, when you'd pull, you know, you'd pop your trailer brake out, and you just hold your, tra uh, your or you pop your tractor out and hold your trailer in with your thumb, you can still do that, just, you know, boom, boom. So it's still just like having these. But I can't different. do that. My fingers aren't long enough or yeah. my hands are too small. Okay, now let's change the steering wheel cover to the right position. You ready for that? You might want to bag up that. All right, guys, this is just a stretch over steering wheel cover. Make sure you line it up perfect. Yeah, I put it on. I lined it up wrong. We have the seam on the top. And they're not fun, that's for sure. They're always hard okay. To put on. So there's the seam. Sure I like that seam Center. on the bottom, just because it bothers me otherwise. So all you do is get it pulled over. Work your way down. And these fit really tight. And this particular model has rubber, rubber grooves in it. These here, these that are gripping the steering wheel. So it holds it nice and tight on the steering wheel because this is for a 15 to 18 inch steering wheel. This is uh, 18. 18 inch, I believe. So it's masking it out. So if it was a smaller steering wheel, it would need those grooves really to help grip the steering wheel. But as you can see, this is no easy task to put on. I mean, it's stretching and I still gotta stretch it down to there. But it is comfortable to use. Yes, it really is. And it's got a good grip. It gives you a big, thick surface to uh, grip onto, mm -hmm. you know. A lot of times, gripping something big and thick, you just get better uh, maneuverability than something really small <coughs> and puny. <coughs> and that's like the old days, the old school cars, think about it, the old school cars, the steering wheels were really skinny and puny. Oh yeah, I remember. And then they got thicker and thicker. Yeah. Well, they realized that, you know, grabbing hold of something big and thick, you just get a better grip on it. Um, there's just more surface area, I guess. Ooh, damn it, it's not straight. It's a little cockeyed. Yeah, that's okay. There's more surface area to grip it and rip it, you know? But uh, it is, it really makes it comfortable. Um, and yeah, I didn't need my pliers because I forgot I have my grippy, grip, grippy, grippy gloves. gloves. 
so we'll put we'll go ahead and put those in a little plastic bag and we'll throw them up in a side bin somewhere so if we leave this truck or if one of these break or something we always can put these back on pull to evacuate now pull to evacuate trailer air supply not for parking push to supply why is it a stop sign if it's not for parking it's not a stop. It's ketchup. <laughs> no, it's a stop mustard. sign. It's an octagon. So is it? Oh, I don't, I don't know. That's a. Isn't that the same? What, this what is sign? your parking brake. It should be in a red octagon, and this should be a yellow triangle. Pull to apply parking brake. Push to release. Well, pull means stop. I mean, red octagon means stop. Yellow means speed up. I don't know. You're squirreling. <laughs> oh. All right, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. Bye. Bye.